So my name is Al Salak. I'm from the Scripps Research Institute and I'm the director of the Flow Cytometry Core Facility. And I've been at Scripps now since 1998 and directing since uh, 2000. Flow is a funny field in the sense that there's really two or three big players in it in the past. And ASEA came in with their low price point and full functionality and just impressed everyone who's gotten their hands on it. And what caught my eye is I've seen all kinds of instrumentation. I thought the software was the first step to depart from the classical layouts we're all used to seeing and begin to make a more intuitive workflow. You know, a lot of times these instruments will end up in like an immunology oriented institute where it's basically mostly phenotyping with a few outside applications. And this instrument, along with the, some of the side scatter triggering they developed in, as requested by us, allows it for novice chemists to basically come in and run highly data rich assays without any of the handholding typical that you have to go through with a non immunologist being brought to flow cytometry. Like I said, people were scared to try new things. And this instrument is different enough from the existing instrumentation that a lot of people were cautious on it. And word's starting to spread out through the community now that, hey, this new company actually makes a solid product with good componentry and the support has been outstanding and the instruments behaved up to expectations. 